When it comes to second-generation fundamentalist evangelical shit biscuits, Jerry Falwell Jr.'s job is to protect everyone else from being the shittiest one. And that's a damn good thing for Franklin Graham. This is the man who started his existence in Billy Graham's balls and somehow just got worse from there. And we already knew he was shitty based on the 12 separate entries under the controversy section of his Wikipedia page. I shit you not, it's like the bulk of his entry. And they have titles like support of the Iraq war, support for conversion therapy, and praise of Vladimir Putin. But he managed to get even worse this week when a story broke in the Washington Post all about him gaslighting a victim of domestic abuse and sending her back to her husband. Why? Because leaving him would threaten his cash cow. So the victim in question is Nami Panahi. Sorry if I'm fucking up that pronunciation. Her husband was a Christian pastor who was imprisoned in Iran. And between 2013 and 2015, Graham used his online platform to advocate for his release. And to fundraise off of her misfortune by holding her and her husband out as exemplars of the rampant persecution of Christians around the world. But eventually he was freed, at which point Graham learned that she was being abused and didn't want anything to do with the guy. But since that fucked up his narrative, he tried to persuade her to stay with him. In fact, upon learning of the abuse, apparently his first response was to call Panahi and accuse her of cheating on him. I mean, why else would he continue to be the physically and emotionally abusive husband she said he'd been pretty much their whole marriage? Now, keep in mind that Graham could have used his enormous platform to highlight the dangers of domestic abuse. He could have offered her the same level of support she offered her husband. But instead, he urged her to stop talking about the abuse publicly and return to her abuser. In fact, in an email in the WAPO article, he says, quote, I'm not saying that your husband is not guilty of abuse. I'm sure he is guilty of much worse. The problem is you exposed him publicly to the whole world and embarrassed him, end quote. Yeah, that's the real problem with spousal abuse, how embarrassing it is to the abuser. Of course, the guys all buttered you up with good news and made me the first to do a headline about depressing shit. So let me close with something a bit more uplifting. On Tuesday of this week, the senior Buddhist authority in Bhutan began ordaining a group of 144 women as female monks, ending a practice of gender discrimination so pervasive in the tradition that nobody even knows how old it is. Everybody agrees that there were female monks in the time of the Buddha, but over time, the Tibetan wing of the faith kind of pushed them all out and placed a glass ceiling between them and the highest echelons of religious leadership. And apparently this was complicated a bit because becoming a female monk in Tibetan Buddhism is kind of like becoming a vampire. Only another female monk can turn you into one. So they had to like do extra magic, fly female monks in from other branches of the faith, all kinds of silly shit. But the end result is a step towards gender equality in a part of the world where royal women are still relegated to menstrual huts once a month. And that's definitely worth celebrating. So on that upbeat note, I'll take my leave and hand you back over to Noah, Heath, and Eli.